trusting thing here and that's called the eye care AI. Well, if we have AI and we don't use it for the medical purpose, then it's actually of not much use for all of us. But yes, something interesting that's been done here and very useful for each and every one of us once it's going to be there. Well, I'm talking about the eye care AI here. What exactly it is? Well, that's uh, we will be explained by Jills, who's the senior director, of data center and the communications with AMD. Jills, uh, welcome to the talk show. Thank you. Uh, wanted to understand what exactly is eye care AI, how it's powered by AMD, and if you could just explain us how it's going to be useful yep. for a normal person back there in India. Okay, so let me put the context first. Yeah. India, like a lot of other countries, you know, we are lacking doctors. And so there is not enough live doctors to put in front of the people. And so with the e Sanjivani uh, initiative, in fact, the goal is to provide an e-doctor in front of the people to connect the people and still make sure that the people are getting the right prescriptions, that the, the symptoms are explained, and so that at the end, the health of the people will be taken care of. And so the demonstration we are doing here is using, by the way, our latest technology. We announced this technology two days ago, so it's brand new, but this server that we are using here for the data analytic has been made in India. So the CPU is from AMD, but the rest has been done in India. So it's a made in India uh, server. Sure. And we are using a software on top of it coming from East and Givani from the government initiative that will take the people information and the doctor information so that when somebody is speaking to an e-doctor, they are able to get the symptom and so that this, this program that's AI-based will be able to write the right prescription. But that's not enough because in India, you have a lot of languages. Again, I'm French, <laughs> but if I need to have some, something doing a prescription, yeah. then this program will be able to do it in more than 16 different that languages, okay. local languages. Okay. So that the people, we, the goal is to really care, take care about the people, where they are, to make them comfortable, Whatever the language they will be speaking, this will be able to recognize it and do the transcript and the prescription in their own language. So at the end, this is really to connect the people to the e-doctor and being able to take care about them. So if we want to just look at it, yeah. we can probably, and I will use the help sure. Of, sure. of showing what we are doing for this eye care. Sure. So we have the patient's name here, we have the age here, male or female, whatever gender, and in case, whatever problem that you have in the eye, uh, for We will example, take the picture. Yes, this is the picture. You can take a picture. You have an eye redness. You click click a picture, upload it here on the software, and then obviously write what problem do you have. So, for example, Aakho Me Sujan, there is swelling in your eyes, is what is written here. La la ke, eye redness, or maybe an eye sore, whatever. And the place that you are at, from where you actually feeding the data, and the language that you can select. So if you drop down, you can see how many languages are possibly right now available that you can because this has to cater to the people who are in interiors also. So it need not be just in Hindi and English. You could probably select the language of the place that you are at so that the prescription that you get is in your language and it's understandable by you. So that's the kind of software that is uh, fed in here. And whatever problem that it has with the AI generation of whatever learnings the AI has with what the data has been fed in, this is the prescription that you get and what needs to be done in terms of cure for your problem that you've entered there uh, in the feet. Am I right? Jules? Oh, you are perfect. Yeah. yeah. Nothing okay. to add. Okay. And you can, you can move to AMD. <laughs> <laughs> you can. And we can download the PDF. And you can also download the PDF. Yeah. This acts as a prescription, which is exactly. going to be a, a soft copy of your prescription. And maybe you want to make a print out of it. Maybe later you can take and keep it with you for the reference. Also, there's another thing. Not just this. The particular place that you are, it also suggests the nearest hospital that you could go and show the doctor to. So that's the thing that's done online with the AI learning and that's the magic of AI that's actually being used in medical uh, uh, space. So very fantastic, very helpful and it's going to be a rage when it actually is used by people that are in small town or in interiors we don't have a direct access to the doctors and also it's going to be uh, you know uh, 
lessen the burden of the doctors that actually see patients on everyday basis to about 100 or 200. So yes, an easy job for them too and very, very good initiative. Thanks still for speaking to us. That's actually a very, very useful thing. Welcome. Which is uh, going to be very useful for not just doctors, but yes, for the patients who are in the interiors and very helpful for each and every Indian uh, with the kind of problem that... Yeah, the, the made in India is very important for, for yeah. AMD. And so yeah. the team which is putting that together, that's really important for them. Sure. Thanks, thanks for so Thank you. I wanted to add one thing. Yeah. Uh, like, these are all done by our interns. Oh. So that's the power of AI and the APIs that's that nice. we built in. We built the software stack. It is very uh, easy to uh, develop. And then the interns come, they de define all these stuff.